39 meters my wife 39 f of 16 years cheated on me. It hurts too much. It hurts whenever I think about what has happened for the past 7-8 months. Perhaps a couple months ago, I recall seeing a casual text exchange of just two messages between my wife and a guy named P that she knows through work he doesn't work in same place, but they met through another work-related program. The messages were flashing on her phone which she left on the kitchen counter so by pure chance that I saw them. The messages were a bit flirtatious but I didn't think much of it so I didn't confront my wife about them specifically. However, I would hint to her that I read on Reddit how people who cheat would typically cover their track well and delete all their messages on their phone. We have been having a bit of a dead bedrooms problem and I've been reading about libido and how to deal with it. She would never initiate S time and I often get turned away when I do pretty common stuff. It's also unusual that a month ago, she decided to get herself an IUD for birth control. Yes, I don't like putting on scenedoms but that have never been a real issue but I didn't think much of it because I figure she just wants it to be more spontaneous and perhaps that would help with the dead bedrooms. Last Memorial Weekend, she brought us over to P's house for a barbecue among a couple other friends. We met his wife and kids. Our kids played with theirs, and all enjoyed the time. I even helped out with cooking with P and his wife. BTW, it doesn't help that I work at a startup and work schedule is crazy. Her work is very busy too as she's also a rank and file. Fast forward to last night. I came home from work around 9.30 pm and she was in the shower. Some sixth sense in me told me to check her phone just to see what she's been up to yes, my bad, you can judge me all you want. I specifically noticed there are not a single text messages with this P guy, which is completely unusual since she talks about him periodically. I hopped online into the account for our wireless family plan and dug into billing details, and that's when my heart broke. For every day except perhaps Sundays for the past 7-8 months, she texts back and forth numerous times with P about once or so a day, they would also have calls. When she got out of shower, I confronted her with the info and that's when she fessed up. She met him through a work-related program and they would be at week-long off-site meetings every month or two. She claims they have never touched each other she swore on our children's lives, but this has been going on for 7-8 months. There have also been 4 or 5 of these week-long off-site meetings where they obviously had to stay overnight at hotels, etc. A couple things to ask for your advice. 1. Should I even believe her that they never touch each other? 2. What should I even do? She apologized profusely, but I think it's more like she's sorry she got caught. 3. I strongly feel like P's wife has got to know. It's not even cool that I'm the only victim dealing with this. Wife wants to keep this to just ourselves and resolve and doesn't want his wife to know. Via the barbecue, I have P's wife's email address and phone number. Any help is appreciated. Please. I cried to sleep and I haven't cried for a very very long time. I hope I can get over this. Edit. I now see email threads where they call each other love and how much she sees his image lookalikes everywhere she goes, and how much she wants to be in his arms, and how much he wants her in bed with him holding his CCK, etc. Ouch ouch ouch, my heart. I efforted a three-way conference call with P just now and told him to go screw himself. Both P and wife tried to tell me that they have decided to end this relationship. I also told him I will tell his wife which of course he begged me not to. I only have his wife's work phone and she's not working today, so I just emailed her a short message. Edit 2, she fessed up about them having kissed and touched each other, but no actual piv s time. I'm so horrified I'm not sure what else to believe. Edit 3, P's wife now knows. She left me a voicemail so I know for sure she knows. She said in voicemail that she's dealing with it as best as she could and is not yet ready to hear all the details I know. Update. It's been just over a month since I discovered my wife's affair. Where do I begin? My first post was here. About two weeks after the discovery, curiosity got the better of me. I got into her email account and read more past emails between the two of them she didn't know casually deleting emails doesn't completely delete them permanently for a while. I learned that they first started having S time in January. I learned she used our special signature to sign her love email to him. Also a couple weeks ago, when I continued to beat her up with my obsessive questions, 
She drank a lot and answered some of them. They did it three, four times via their three week long conferences. They snuck around their conferences at night. No protection was used while having S time. He pulled out. They supposedly agreed that end of May was the end of the affair, but as we all know, that didn't really happen as they were still emailing and texting as of early June. This left me with a lot of pain. When I saw stranger pregnant women, I would get totally freaked out and worried what if she did get pregnant, thankfully she didn't. Gosh, I need to get tested. I had other obsessive thoughts such as does she get confused between the two of us she said she doesn't because we are very different? Would she die and regret not following up with her fling? No, especially if we do well together and other s time wool questions such as what positions did they do it in, did she moan and enjoyed it, who first started the s time, did she give him bo jobs, did they do it in the shower, did he make her come, etc. But I think answers to those s time wool ones especially the answers I fear most would just cause more obsessive thoughts and I better off not know. I may die not ever know and may wish to never know. My wife has been completely apologetic. She showed me how terrible she feels for bringing so much pain to me. Many tears. Lots of apology. I would get flashbacks and other obsessive thoughts and she would try to comfort me. However, when things got really tough for me, she would withdraw. Each time she sees me in so much pain, the guilt is too much on her and she just wanted to go hurt herself for it. I of course don't want that. Strangely, we have been getting very close and have been having a lot of kissing, affection, and yes, even s time. At least once a day, sometimes twice. No more dead bedrooms for me. She longs for the attention that I now fully give her and the s time comes naturally. It feels like we are dating again and that's unbelievable. Interestingly, she was really tired one day and turned me down for s time she had to get up really early next day. The next day, I was an ass and got mad and told her she had no right to refuse s time from me since she presumably didn't refuse s time from that ashole my words. She nodded and had no problem agreeing to have s time with me every day. That night, I felt terrible and apologized to her and said that I had no right to ask that of her. I truly want her to desire me and I crave for her attention and affection like she does of me. S time is not the only thing I'm after and I do not ever want her to feel trapped or obligated to have it with me. That would be a terrible life for her and for me. She told me under no uncertain terms that he was nothing to her. She simply used him because he gave her the attention she wanted. She said she was lost, and became selfish. She told me she doesn't even think of him now likely have suppressed him out as my interpretation, and that I'm the one who would bring him up when I do have my flashbacks. I made it clear to her that if this ever happens again, I won't be sticking around. Obviously she promises that will not ever happen again. I draw strict boundaries about she is to never have any contact with him again. And if he ever makes any form of contact, I'd be the first to know. I realize, as I always know since the day I met her, that I hopelessly love her. But I also know that if her heart doesn't belong with me, I'd rather let her go. I told her that much. The duration and extent of the affair showed me that they were heavily involved and in love with each other. I told her I'll do my best to show her how much I love and admire her and I also apologized for working too many long hours, disrespecting her work at times in the past, and was not giving her the attention she deserves and I truly want to give. We took each other for granted and that should never happen. For the past week, my obsessive thoughts have greatly subsided. Thank goodness, I'd die otherwise. I showed my love to her every chance I have, and she does for me. We text and email each other while at work. We easily spend 3-4 hours per night talking. I truly feel good about how we are doing. We are getting counseling and therapy. I strongly feel we have a great chance at building an even stronger marriage moving forward. We now notice so many unhappy couples around us, even our own close friends. We know better and focus and give each other full attention and affection. I bet those couples might feel jealous or perhaps think we are nuts. If only those people know what we are been going through. Here's a great book I'd like to share, not just friends, Rebuilding Trust and Recovering Your Sanity After Infidelity by Shirley Glass. Summary, affair can happen to even good relationships. Guard yourself against it, 
don't ever engage in any intimate conversation with non-partner spouse. It all starts out with oh, we are just friends. 